avoiding penalties, not filing an ISF consequences. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the consequences of not filing an ISF. I know, it's not a fun topic, but it's important to be aware of so that you can avoid any penalties. What is an ISF? An ISF, or an International Shipping Form, is a document that is required for all shipments that are valued at more than $2,500 and are being shipped from one country to another. The purpose of the ISF is to collect information about the shipment so that customs officials can track it and ensure that it is properly declared. What happens if you don't file an ISF? If you don't file an ISF, you could face a number of penalties, including Fines. The fine for not filing an ISF can be up to $10,000 per shipment. Seizure of your goods. If your goods are seized, you may not be able to get them back. Delays. Your shipment may be delayed while customs officials investigate why you didn't file an ISF. Harm to your business reputation. If your customers find out that you didn't file an ISF, they may lose trust in your business and stop doing business with you. How can you avoid penalties for not filing an ISF? There are a few things you can do to avoid penalties for not filing an ISF. Make sure you're aware of the ISF requirements. The ISF requirements vary depending on the country you're shipping to, so it's important to make sure you're aware of the specific requirements for your shipment. Use a customs broker. If you're not sure how to file an ISF, you can hire a customs broker to help you. Customs brokers are experts in international shipping and can help you ensure that your shipments are properly declared and that you avoid any penalties. Be prepared to provide documentation. Customs officials may ask you to provide documentation to support the information you've declared on your ISF. Make sure you have all of the necessary documentation ready to present if you're asked for it. The ISF is an important document that can help you avoid penalties and ensure that your shipments are properly processed. By following these tips, you can avoid any problems with the ISF and keep your shipments moving smoothly. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the ISF, please leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them.